This week I'm going to show you how to use the table calculation size to count the number of marks in the view. As you can see there are 382 marks and if I select a team it reduces it down and if I then multi-select different players it will then tell me how many players I have just selected. So how do we make this? Let's start making. So what we want to do is we want to put tackles onto columns and we want missed tackles onto rows. We then want team name onto shape. This was already pre-populated so you'd have to pick go into your shapes and then you would have to have a um, rugby league um, team filter shape and then you can assign each one individually and then we also want name onto details. So this gives um, a single dot per player per team for the number of tackles and the number of missed tackles. So now what we want to do is another pre-calculated field onto the size. So this is the percentage of missed tackles, just so we can see how much each player is missing their, of their tackles. So we want to add the missed tackles and the normal tackles together and then um, divide that from the missed tackles. So if we put that into size, you can then see the ranges of the sizes going up there. So now what we want to do is we want to create the bands that we've done before. So if we put meters onto detail and then if we change it to polygon, we can then add this in here. So if we do some of meters and then if we change this to total meters and then sorry it's not even meters at all it is total tackles and let's change that to total uh, the sum of tackles so now we can duplicate this and change this to miss tackles instead and then just change the name total miss tackles and then just one more, which is the percent of missed tackles. So again, we're just going to have to go back in here and change the, the band so that we've got each of the individual fields there, but we don't want the color on there. So let's change that back to black. And then the same with this one. So if we change this to the sum of missed tackles and change it to black. So now we have our total tackles. Oh, again, change this one. Then we have our total tackles, total missed tackles, and the percent of missed tackles. So finally, the one thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take this off and now we're going to use size but first we need to um, put some things onto detail so we want team name onto detail and we also want player name onto detail so because this is a polygon you're not going to be able to see what's going on so if I change this to square it's going to give you every name uh, every player name and every team name so now if I put size on here what I want to do is I want to be able to compute using both of those. So we want to compute using name and team name. So now if I put this into the title and hit apply, you'll see there's 394. And this is the number of marks. So now again we just change that to polygon. So what the final thing that we want to do is we want to create a team name filter. So we want team name onto columns and then you want to change this to shape and command um, sh drag it from team name onto shape to give you that individual shape per team. And then just hide these headers because we don't need them. And then just a general formatting in the end. This is called um, team filter. And this is uh, tackles versus missed tackles. So now when we go into the dashboard, what we want to do is we want to bring in that scatter plot down here. We can worry, worry about the legends in a minute. And then put a horizontal container in for the total tackles, 
total missed tackles, percent of missed tackles, and then the number of marks. So we just want to move them around a little bit so they get them inside the containers. So now let's delete those. Remove container. Oh, no, I meant to delete container, not remove it. Delete containers. Just make sure that these are fitting entire view so that they spread out nicely. And then finally, we want our team filter on the top here. So again, let's hide the title, delete this, and make this fit entire view too. So the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna click this little filter button because then it's just gonna filter everything. But if we do that on here, then, and I click Wigan Warriors, and I click, um, highlight a certain amount of players it's then just going to filter that team back down to just Wigan I don't want it to do that so we want to go to dashboard dashboard actions we want to uh, change the filter to which is the one that we just generated and we want to untick it from the team filter so now what we're going to see is if once I select a different team you'll see that we reduce the number of marks and we can also highlight it and get the total number of marks, total tackles, total missed tackles, and percent of total tackles. And then we just need to, a bit of formatting to clean it all up.